Hello, I'm Corey, the Psychic Life Coach. I'm Corey, Life Coach, Psychic Astrologer, Artist, Writer, and Mystic with over 60 years of totally satisfied clients scattered worldwide. I've been doing readings and consultations and having people ask me questions and consulting with me me being an advisor ever since I was a little kid. My mother was psychic. And in her own passive, encouraging way, she had me work advising a number of her friends, just a few of them. I was just a kid. They would ask me questions. It would get me talking about things. I really don't know what it is that I said, but they sure kept coming back right up until the time that I went off to college and left them. They would come over and say, Corey, I got some questions for you. They didn't ever do it over the phone. They always came to my mother's house because I love visiting with her, because she is brilliant, hardworking, and psychic too, just like her mother, and her mother, and so on. A family heritage. You now learn how to control a universal problem, worry. And what I've written works fine for me. You learn how to control a universal problem that everybody in the world has to deal with greater or lesser, sooner or later, and that's worry. Worry is an ordinary and heartfelt part of life. Being concerned about people we care for or personal situations that have a feeling of risk. I get worried being on high places with a certain drop off. I'm always afraid or worried that I might slip and fall and go over the edge. That's a worry, but I just stay back from it and don't get around many high places that I have to uh, traverse. Worry is a type of fear. Yeah, I feared falling off of a high place. There are profound personal, political, medical, psychological, and spiritual issues with this state of mind. Fear. Worry. Worry may have a positive intention, but can have dramatically negative results for everyone involved, even communities and large groups of people, even nations. A lot of people can get worried about the same thing. If they get organized, they can get a solution to get rid of the worry and change their world. The contemporary scientists of the mind label worry as a symptom of anxiety, which is fear, often leading to depression. According to science, worry creates bad chemicals in our brain and body, distressing our body, causing pains, and depleting our autoimmune system, making us more susceptible to allergies and other illnesses. And when our lifestyle stresses us, these same chemicals are created in our brain and cause us to feel worry and anxiety. Got us going and a coming. Even if it is a chemical in our brain, the feeling of fear is real. It is fear. And people feel afraid. Medication is often given to help. 
These chemicals in our brain can sometimes cause the feeling of worry to snowball into a panic attack. Don't want that. That's horrible. That's horrible. I've had a few of those. Scared, terrified. With me, I even end up throwing up. I get so agitated. Worry can ruin physical health. Worry can destroy relationships and careers. At the very worst, the hopeless feeling can lead to suicide attempts caused by the fear of unresolved concerns. Just being terrified of what it is that they see happening. Having pictures of negativity in their mind about horrible outcomes. Worry creates negative pictures in our minds. People believing in a spirit realm or having religion, no repetition of any words or thoughts is a prayer, a request to be granted by the constant negative imagination. Even if you do not think whistling has power, just do it long enough and the dogs will come. This is known as the law of attraction. Just repeat what you want. Just see it coming to you. That's what worry is. Repeating it and seeing it happen. But the law of attraction works with positive ideals, aspirations, and desires. The law of attraction. We get what we ask for. This is an old axiom. Worry shapes the creation of our personal reality. We paint, we create, and it becomes our world from our ideas and from our images and from our imagination. We imagine what we want before we get it. And when our imagination is full of negativity, well, oftentimes that's what we get. Worry sheds the creation of our personal reality. In the beginning, there was a word. All we create starts with thoughts taking shape as images in our mind, leading us into desire. Just as the Bible says, we are to pray unceasing, we do that unintended because our life is actually a living prayer, being asked and answered with every breath. As we think and as we say is how unfolds this very day. We create our world with what we think and say about it. We create the world we live in. That is what karma is. A predisposition in our thinking and what we choose to believe. And that is what unfolds. Worrying about ourselves or another person puts a dark cloud of distress over the lives involved with an unintended prayer of negativity visualizing bad things happening. That's horrible. Seeing a friend having something disastrous happening to him. It brings them closer to it happening. That's the reason why worry is dangerous. It creates an ugly outcome that has a high possibility of happening. The solution to worrying is to focus on the feeling of happiness and joy all share when any concern is resolved. This will bring joy into your life. Knowing you have done something good and seeing good outcomes to concerns that will make you happy. See the good. Ignore the evil. Feel the good, not seeing the bad. 
break the hold of negative emotions with a long hot shower, a long soak in a hot tub with lots of Epsom salts. And Epsom salts are cheap and they're the most powerful bath salts you can get. They'll actually put you into a different frame of mind, a different mood, and cause all kinds of other things good to be happening in your body and affecting your health in a positive way. Feel good. Feel the good, not seeing the bad. Break the hold of negative emotions with a long hot shower, a long soak in a hot tub with lots of Epsom salts, or exercise like walking or swimming. Here sums it up. Concern without a plan is worry. The way to deal with worry is to confront it with a plan to resolve the concern. Any plan will work to eliminate worry. We start oftentimes with plans to do something and plans change in progress and we end up having a good outcome even though we didn't stick with our plan. Any plan will work to eliminate worry. Any plan puts a light at the end of the tunnel and creates hope and moves things in the right direction. Plans change in progress, so do not overthink this plan. Just keep it simple. You plan to get out. Write your plan briefly. It can be a sentence or two. Any plan creates hope and joy. Focusing on the feeling of joy confidently loosens the painful bond of worry. Imagining joy as the outcome is getting control of your life. Focus on the desired feeling of a positive outcome moving beyond hope. Let the universe provide the shaping of the plan's details in its own perfection. Just plan for an outcome, a result. And let creation take care of the details of how it is it's going to happen. Seeing a positive outcome and feeling joy about it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just imagine feeling the happiness in the outcome and the desired joy it brings, not how your plan is accomplished. It doesn't matter how it's accomplished. Let the universe deal with how it's accomplished. You just have a plan for a result. What we see is what we get. Imagine your desired feeling of joy that you feel with the results. Imagine that. Imagine the joy. Imagine the results. Imagine a beautiful outcome and the, and the excitement and goodness you shared with everyone and being able to have a concern resolved in a joyful fashion. However, worry out of control can be a blessing also, leading to the desire for union with a higher power. Begging with prayers for a solution and divine intervention to relieve a crisis can put life on a higher level. People have said they got religion when lost in worry and fear. There's nowhere else to go but to the Lord. Worry can motivate positive construction action, causing dams built to control floods and many other impressive acts, like saving money for a rainy day. Worry can motivate us to be responsible and down to earth 
and take care of business. Worry can help shape our world into a serene paradise. Worry can be a blessing when addressed with a plan and love, enriching our lives. Also, love casts out fear. Pursuing a plan for others we worry about is love and dedication. Making a dedicated plan regarding another person is a resolution that can eliminate another person's worry. See good things happening for people you're concerned about. See their worries going away and the joy coming into their life. It is a feeling of confidence that all is well. We must plan to remove our worry for others. When we worry about others, we're seeing horrible things happening to them. We must stop our negative imaginations, images, seeing harm coming to others. See blessings in their life and imagine the joy, not negative images. See joy in their lives. Worry is a two-edged sword that can ruin or serve our life. Mastery is in planning, hope, and trusting the universe. We use our power of imagination to have the images of a joyful resolution. This joy should be imagined even before the inevitable solution becomes real. Be joyful and happy, knowing that things are going to work out, that things are going to be okay, that the concern is resolved, and there's joy there with it. The plan you created, that you let the universe manifest, is there and bringing you joy and happiness with the concern being resolved. Worry can exhaust a person and ruin lives, or it can help us build for tomorrow. These simple steps are worth listening to many times until mastery is accomplished and your life belongs to you. Listen to this a few times. It's really important. It can change your life. It can give you a way of being able to control worry. And everybody has worry time to time. And some people get stuck in worry. And worry is negativity. And negativity attracts bad luck. And people that worry all the time usually have a lot of bad luck. And their lives are not joyful or pretty. I wrote a book paperback and an e-book, Handbook of Dealing with Fools. It is a powerful source of insight in avoiding worry and improving your quality of life in every way. It's online with Amazon. Just go to Amazon.com and then go to Amazon Kindle Books and you get an e-book for 99 cents. And a paperback is there also available by Corey. It is an often humorous rendition of a very respected ancient book of wisdom put in today's simple liberated words, acceptable and made understandable to all the world's people and traditions. Get it today and change your life. To get it, Go to Amazon.com, then Amazon Kindle Books, and enter James Turner Corey, and you will see a number of books displayed, and all six of my 99 cent books are there. Scroll down till you see it. Listen to this again. You'll get more out of it the second time. This is a way to get rid of worry. 
and worry is possibly the greatest problem mood in the world. It's a part of depression, it's a part of panic, it's a part of PTSD, it's a part of schizophrenia, it's a part of many distressing experiences that people have with the health of their mind.